Hey everybody, Sam Terrell, the Northwest Aeronaut, and today we're gonna be talking about coordination. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about good old fashioned stick and rudder skills and how it relates to coordinating the ailerons with the rudder. Hey, but first, before we get into it, can I ask you a favor? Could you please hit that like button if you find this content helpful and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like it in the future. All right, thank you for that. And now let's get into our topic for today. Do you realize that rudders were added to airplanes for one reason and one reason only? They were added to counter adverse yaw. This is the yawing motion we experience when we utilize the aileron to bank the plane. As we bank, we are creating more lift on the high wing than on the low wing. And this extra lift also produces extra drag. This drag pulls that high wing back, causing the nose to swing the opposite direction of our turn. This is adverse yaw. So this is why we need a rudder to coordinate our turns and ensure the nose does not swing as we are banking the aircraft. This is especially prominent and important during slower phases of flight like landing. All right, let's jump into the cockpit and look at two exercises I use to teach aileron and rudder coordination. All right, guys, so coordination. One of the hardest things for pilots in general, let alone brand new students, to kind of comprehend. And, you know, while we usually talk about coordination being in relation to ailerons and rudder, realistically, coordination happens with all flight control surfaces, rudder, elevator, and ailerons. However, today we're gonna to be doing a couple exercises that really focus on the aileron and rudder coordination. And these are called Dutch rolls. Now, Dutch rolls, as you may have heard of them, you know, they're a little bit different than what we consider, uh, what airliners kind of consider Dutch rolls to be. Airliners kind of consider a Dutch roll to be the opposite of what we're trying to achieve with the exercise of Dutch rolls. When we do this, so I want you looking out front here, I'm gonna take my feet off the rudder completely. And as I roll back and forth, what do we see happening with the nose? Let's go ahead and slow down a little bit. So I'm gonna put my feet flat on the floor and as I roll our wings back and forth, what do we see the nose doing? It's swinging all over the place, right? And the reason that happens is because of, that's right, adverse yaw. I know all of you were saying that out there. Adverse yaw, when we create more lift in one wing, it creates more drag and pulls that wing back. So what do we need to do to counter that? We need to use rudder in the same direction as we're banking in order to prevent the nose from swinging the opposite way. So, if we do this correctly, what we should see is our nose staying in a single point on the horizon and simply pivoting. Pivot! <laughs> Pivot! <laughs> Pivot! Just pivoting back and forth as we bank left and right. So here we go, this is what it should look like. As we roll right, we use right rudder. As we roll left, we use left rudder. I kind of consider this like rocking a baby. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. All right, so you see how we're, my nose is not swinging. It's a little turbulent out today, but it's staying in one spot, and it's not swinging like it does if I take my feet off the rudders all over the place, okay? So, this is the basic fundamental skill that all pilots need to possess. This is also one thing that I happen to do personally in any new airplane I get into because it's a great way to learn how effective and authoritative the rudder is 
and what the relationship is between the rudder and that plane and the ailerons. So there's a, a handful of things I do in every new plane I get into, that is one of them. Now, if you're a new student pilot out there, that might be a little much for you to handle. So instead, what I do with my new students is I do a variation of that where we just do these S turns. First, I'm going to show them what the S turns look like without proper rudder coordination. We go left, and you see the sw nose swing right. Now I hold this bank, only about 20 to 30 degrees of bank, and then we go right, and you see the nose swing left. Now I hold this bank, and I just let it turn. Okay, and now I go left. You see that nose swing. Okay, so you do these little S turns, and these little S turns are a little bit slower, so they allow newer students to kind of get a better grasp of what's going on. So if we do it correctly now with proper rudder, we turn right with rudder, the nose pivots, it stops. We're turning, we're turning, we're turning. Now we go left, we use rudder, we stop, we pivot, and we go the other direction. Okay, we turn, we turn, we turn, we stop, we pivot, and we go the other direction. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're doing either these S turns or the Dutch rolls is that you only need rudder pressure when you're applying aileron pressure. One of the things that people get kind of mixed up with is they start using opposite rudder too quickly. They try to bank out of the turn to it quickly. We want to make sure we're using, if I go left, I use pressure to the left on both the aileron and rudder. Then pressure to the right, aileron and rudder. I stop pressure and I go the other way. Left pressure, stop, I go the other way, right pressure. Left pressure, stop, right pressure. Stop, left pressure. Stop, okay? So we're relaxing the pressure on both ailerons and rudder in between each direction change. I add pressure, pressure, pressure to the right, relax, pressure, pressure, pressure to the left, relax, pressure, pressure, pressure to the right, relax, pressure, pressure, pressure to the left, relax. And that's what's going to allow you to keep that nose steady and coordinate this maneuver properly. All right, well, that will about do it for today, folks. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please like and share this video with anyone else you think would find it helpful. I really appreciate you spending time with me today. And until next time, resume your own navigation. See ya.